The Northwestern College women's basketball team was vying for its sixth straight trip to the NAI semifinals Saturday as the Red Raiders took on St. Francis, who entered the tournament ranked second in the country. Northwestern fell behind 19-6 early before rallying, taking a lead, and then settling for a 36-36 tie entering the break. It was still a tight game in the second half when the game's most pivotal play took place. The teams were tied at 56 with less than 10 minutes left when Kendra Young took the ball to the basket and was originally called for a charge. Northwestern coach Chris Yaw questioned whether St. Francis's Brooke Ridley was inside the arc in the painted area. After the officials deliberated, they changed the call. That prompted a less than pleased reaction from St. Francis coach Gary Andrews, who was called for a technical. The young went to the line and hit three of the four free throws to give Northwestern a lead. It never let go. Sam Kleinsaucer put a key free throw in here to extend the lead to five points before DeYoung drew the defense's attention and found Karen Hudson all alone under the basket for two. Allie Dunkelberger will sink a free throw here. It was one of Northwestern's 33 free throw attempts in the second half as the Red Raiders went on to win 87-77. Northwestern will play Davenport of Michigan in the semifinals Monday night. The two teams met two years ago in the national championship contest. Um, I think that was really good for us to come back from that. Um, we've had a couple games like that throughout the season. Where we've had slow starts and had to fight through, but um, worked out for us. So, yeah, absolutely critical. Uh, you know, it's uh, we talk about why we spend so much time and place so much effort in defending and rebounding is it's two areas you can control. You can absolutely control uh, how aggressive you are going to the boards. You can control how you defend and work hard that way. Sometimes the round ball doesn't go in the round ring and uh, you just got to keep persevering and you can do that in those other areas. Uh, so um, we did that, kept competing, kept fighting um, and just did it one possession at a time. Oh, absolutely, that's a big call. Um, you know, I, my eyes honestly got there late if the kid was in the ring. Um, where she landed, I thought there's a great chance she's in the ring. Whatever. That was a big moment. You're right. Um, and, uh, yeah, some of those whistles go your way, some they don't. Uh, that one, um, I guess, went our way. I can't tell you it was the right call because I didn't see it. Um, but nonetheless, uh, we kept our composure, stepped up. You know, Kendra making three out of four in that series there. Uh, obviously a momentum swing. Uh, to be honest, it, it hasn't sunk in, and, uh, and uh, I think that's because of the approach we take. Um, yeah, it, it maybe is what you said. I honestly can't uh, affirm that. Uh, but we embrace every year as it's that group's journey. It's that group's team. It's not a team trying to repeat what somebody else has done. Uh, it's that they embrace one another, hop on this road together, and go. And so uh, whether that leads us to a spot we've been before or it doesn't, uh, they own that journey, and that's what these kids are doing.